All right. Welcome, sketchbook heroes. We're going to be drawing butterflies, and then we're going to be drawing a little bit of perspective, and then we're going to finish up with a little bit of um, the third hour. I think I'll probably eventually divide all these videos up, uh, to short, sweet videos, uh, into just the, the important stuff. Uh, but we're going to start off with a butterfly. Uh, here we go. Uh, here's the butterfly we're going to be drawing. I will turn this upside down. Oh, we didn't put it. All right. Feel free to add your own designs to the butterfly, but we're going to draw in this one. This one's a lot more complex. Uh, and uh, oops, that one, that's the one we're going to be drawing. That's a little more complex, but uh, here we go. I'll break it down. All right. So the first thing uh, I look at is the biggest shape I can, especially when I'm first starting. And we'll zoom in a little bit because the picture's a little small. All right. And we'll do that. And I did actually sharpen my... Uh, a pencil. Uh, we'll use a pencil today. All right. So I'm looking at the height and the width, the height and the width to this um, shape. I usually try to break things down. It's almost square. It's a little bit more rectangular as I, as I look at it. Uh, it's a little bit more rectangular. And seeing this helps me kind of guide me. Uh, and, and you can do this just really quickly. It becomes a habit. You don't even think about it. You can actually do it without even doing it. Uh, but you can kind of almost see the height compared to the width. Uh, it's not square, it's a little wider. So that's the ratio, the height compared to the width, right? And you can see how if it, this pencil ratio is really long compared to how wide it is and how long it is. So that's the height compared to the width. Um, all right, so there's that. And then I can see these, um, these coming out from the center, which uh, we need our axis line. This will help make your drawings symmetrical. Just this simple line, eyeballing it and having that guide. This is the structure of our butterfly. Uh, let's bring that down a little bit. There we go. I'm drawing small. So here's our center. Here's our, I can see this almost like an open book. And then uh, we have angles that come out um, actually right in the middle. Oh, there's a, uh, there's that center, and then we have um, we have a lot of curves, but I don't I don't worry about curves. Curves can confuse. I've talked about that, so don't let the curves confuse you. So I'm going to break this down into straight shapes, and then add the curves afterwards. The straight shapes do help, uh, especially with other drawings. Here they're probably a little hard to see, but um, I'm going to uh, move my camera here. I think something a little more comfortable. There we go. That's better. It definitely got to be comfortable. Here we go. I can see this angle out this way, coming out that way, another angle this way. So I'm breaking my squares into these shapes here. And then it does curve out at the end, right there, it does curve out um, the body of the butterfly coming in here. It does go out of, I can probably bring this angle down a little bit. I can always make these little adjustments. Both sides bring it down. There's that angle. Does come out and curve. And then here's another angle. This angle here. And this angle here. I might have to. I'm looking at this space here. And then this space here. I can almost imagine a circle there. And bringing that same circle in here. That big shaped circle. That mass. I might, for some reason, be off a little bit. So I'm going to bring that down. That angle here. Flip it. I'm bringing it out over a little bit more. Yeah, I can see the spacing here. My spacing is off. So I'm going to think I'm going to bring it out slightly more. This is, um, I'm just doing the framework and I'm checking for symmetry, symmetry. Oh, checking for symmetry, a little bit of eyeballing. And you can measure, you can use your pencil, you can use other stuff to, to measure. I'm kind of eyeballing it. And um, I can bring that point out a little bit more, bring this point out a little bit more to get that rounded shape the way it comes out. These two angles kind of come out and they round out. Because once you have these angles, then the curves kind of just come in. The curves kind of just come in. You can see how that goes out and then just curves down, almost like a little roller coaster. Boom. Then do the same thing on the other side. A lot of people are on spring break. Yeah, Yesenia, yeah, yeah, 
Yes, Yelena. Yelena told me she was going to not make it. She actually got tickets to uh, see something. I can't recall what it is, but she did get tickets to see a play or something. So Yelena's out today. All right, so we got the top part. And I'm thinking that this side, the right side is a little bit off, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, and then here at this bottom part, the bottom half. Uh, comes out it's almost like this tear shape like that on that side. Not, I don't know. It's actually probably easier to look at it as a circle than straight angles. You either want to go with a circle shape or straight shapes. When there's curves, that, that, that makes it hard. But if there's a curve and you can see the circle, that makes it easier. So there's like, kind of like a circle there and you can see the size of that circle, the distance it is from the center. So you use that same distance and you try to get that same circle on the opposite side to try to keep, keep the symmetry because the symmetry is something you're fighting with almost through the whole drawing sometimes when you're drawing bottles or you're drawing other stuff. But uh, just by doing these little simple uh, checks and simple eyeballing, you, you can get more accurate with your symmetry. All right. Not always going to be perfect, but with practice, the more you practice, the more you'll progress with it. And I haven't drawn this for a while, so. But you can see how that's already broken down. I'm looking at my camera up there, and I think I'm taking this too far out. Cut that down a little bit. Right at that corner. And I think that's it. That's that's our, our, um, our structure. And from here, we can just add all the details. And you can add your own. Feel free to get creative. There's two kinds of drawing. There's drawing from observe, observing, observational drawing. And then there's drawing from uh, being creative and using your imagination, adding stuff. And, and, and you want to do both. You don't want to get stuck with just one. You want to get creative. You want to let those creative juices flow, they say. So you want to do that. Um, here, I'm actually thinking of a little circle. And then I'm adding, attaching it with this little um, couple of parallel lines there. All right, there we go. And I think that's that's pretty good. We've got two little hearts. We've got a heart that's here. I can delineate it with a circle here. Another circle there. I can start breaking stuff in, um, seeing this shape in here. There's the, um, that part. I don't worry about the detail. Detail goes last. I just try to see the big shapes first. We can see this big part up here. I'm just kind of like just putting it in right in there. And if I wanted to change the design, I could. There, and I'm looking back and forth and I look pretty, I'm pretty, I feel pretty happy with it. And hopefully you at this point should be looking back and forth and seeing and looking, and feeling pretty happy with it as well. Or if you're not just, it's okay. <laughs> it's about, it's about uh, the process. What are the steps? How did you break it down? The more you practice the process, the better you get at it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, they're not symmetrical. They're asymmetrical, the, the antenna. The one goes up and curves, goes to a little dot. Bring that, holy moly. And then the other antenna. How's it looking? All right, straighten it out on my camera. And then this one's a little bit smaller. Now I'm, I'm starting to put detail. And I actually haven't drawn in, with pencil in a long time. That's uh, interesting. And then um, th there's all these little shapes. Um, there's the body shape, which is like an oval shape. And then it thins out. So I see this body shape, this oval shape there. And then it goes thinner with another thin shape. Learn to construct, learn to deconstruct so you can construct, learn to see the shapes. So there's an oval shape and then there's another shape there. Now I want you to notice that I just, you know, you can draw anything. You really can draw anything. You need to learn how to see it, how to break it down. And it's practice. You can see, I just, I didn't, you know, I didn't prepare the drawings ahead of time. I'm using the same process, the same process every time, seeing the big shapes. And then you practice, you'll remember and do it without even thinking. I'm adding detail already. I'm adding, going into the detail. And they're just the lines going across um, the caterpillar, the caterpillar, the butterfly. But this is actually the caterpillar. This is what's left in the caterpillar. 
Uh, I'm, I'm going accurate. I'm just, I'll just put, get the feel of it. It's about right. And then it's a little bit thick at the ends. There we go. So there's my centerpiece. And then I can uh, start building off of that. Uh, here we go. We'll go start with the left wing. And there is like a tear shape up here. So I'm going to do that tear shape first up here on the left side. There's that tear shape. Uh, comes from here, goes out there. Make sure I have that tear shape. Go out a little bit more. Oh, there's that tear shape. Am I recording? Yeah, I think I am. Oh yeah, I should be. All right, creepy crawlers. I can't bring myself to draw the segments. Oh, let me see. All right, okay. This this look is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, okay, okay. I hear some people struggling. All right, so um. Mm. It is, it looks harder, let me see. So, okay, this is a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it can be. I don't know, should I break it down a little bit more? I can break it down. I can make it bigger as well. So if you're struggling with something, I'd like to know. I might, sometimes I don't um, um, explain well. <laughs> and that's okay, or I, I you know, it, it, breaking things down is not as easy. So if you're having trouble with the body or anything, let me know. Uh, the body is two parts, so there's that oval shape, and then there's the um, body part, the, bo the bottom part together. So I don't know what you're struggling with. I guess it's looking back and forth. Hopefully that uh, square at first or that rectangle helped. Yeah, it looks simple, but it's yeah, sometimes things can be more challenging. Well, we'll, we'll stick it out. Let's keep going. So I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna look at the chat. Bye. I gotta go to make dinner. All right, Cassie. Thanks for joining us. All right, here we go. So uh, got that tear shape, bringing it down, and then I'm going to go with this uh, the second line. Once you have the first line, it kind of comes down, and then the second line goes a little bit wider, and then it uh, gets comes back closer. Yeah, this is probably. Uh, a little bit probably all closer to an intermediate i guess yeah let's see i will do the next one the next one we'll, we'll look for a, a simpler one we'll look for a simpler one so don't get frustrated a little challenge is good aha uh -huh. all right i'm gonna get the outside part of that line yeah a little challenge is good doesn't it's not about the product it's about the process we'll go with a, a simpler one so hang in there try to get a simpler one in there so this line comes out this shape here kind of like that there we go a little bit of erasing that's good here this curves out a little bit and then it goes up. There's a lot of little lines in there. There's a lot of little lines. So um, in that top wing. So it's it's these little C shapes. So I'm gonna do the C shapes. I'm not gonna count. I'm gonna just get the feel of it. There's one curve and that, that feels right about right. And I'm just gonna go with it. Curve, curve, these little arches. Curves, little half circles, curve, curve all the way down, and then uh, end it down here. It looks like it can probably add one more. Feel free to make it a little smaller, or a little bigger to fit in there. How many did I fit? See how accurate I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I did, uh, let's see, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exactly the same. By chance, it's by chance. Could have been off by one or two, but we actually nailed it. Or I nailed it. All right. And then we go with the, the outside of that. Actually, just close it up. It's just closed up. It's not as it's not as um, doesn't arch as much. It's just a little smaller arch, a little half moon, little half moons, right around there. All right. 
There we go. One half of the butterfly done. Anything? Oh. All right, Irma, hang in there, Irma. Yeah, it is. It does look, yeah, they are. They do, they're, they're deceiving. Let's see. Hopefully, we'll, we'll find a firefly. We'll find a fi fire, firefly. <laughs> Might be easier to draw than to say. A firefly that's a little more cartoony, a little more fun. So hang in there, hang in there. There's hope. And that's the thing. It's finding which lane you're in, right? Um, it's like I always say, it's, it's like you're driving on a freeway. Sometimes you're in the wrong lane. It's like people are driving so fast. Like, oh my gosh, you got to go <laughs> change lanes. Okay, I got to get into slower lane. I got to go to that uh, beginner lane and get out of the fast lane. Or if you see somebody driving really fast, like, whoa, it's all relative. All right, my spacing is all off. I'm just drawing and doodling. Here we go. So my top wing, I, all I need is um, <clears throat> this other little line that comes in here. I can kind of see the uh, where it's going to go right here. And it's almost the opposite of our first arches. They kind of almost a mirror, like mirror the opposite way like that. They don't, uh, there we go. I'm just going to put them <clears throat> as I go down, down, down. <coughs> excuse me down to there uh, okay and feel free to do your own designs feel free to color feel free to you know whatever you'd like get creative i think uh that's that's all right here we go and i'd like to post um it was really cool to seeing uh, the the requests that people put i'm like okay cool that helped kind of um organize tonight people wanted to draw creatures and they wanted to do perspective and that actually that's really good i'm going to start doing that and then i'll post um hopefully regularly uh what we're going to draw that evening so you can feel free to come in at eight o'clock nine o'clock i'm just here to draw for fun try to draw what we see not what we think we see okay so um Let's actually, let's go, I'm going to go and bring it down here because this is like almost in the front. This heart here uh, will help dictate a lot of stuff. So I'm going to see, make sure my two circles are kind of in the right spots. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and draw one of the hearts. Uh, we'll draw the outside heart. Or actually, we'll draw the inside heart first. It's uh, it'd probably be a little bit easier. So I'm going to do a circle. That's a circle. And then I'm going to do another circle right next to it. Try to get them to be symmetrical, <laughs> the same. And then, well, I have my two circles. And then now I join them with a little triangle at the bottom. That's my, my little secret to making hearts symmetrical as well. Symmetry, the word of the night, brought to you by butterflies. There we go. There's a symmetrical heart. We're going to outline it, another skill. Uh, just try to go uh, watching the, the distance between that last heart you drew. Parallel lines. It's almost parallel. I'm going around it. There it is right there. There's one design. little hidden heart. And then it, it attaches to the body with two lines. There's one going up. That one looks good. And then one from the center going up to the middle. And it's good to see where your line starts and where it's going to end before you draw it. And there it is. And then uh, do the other side. Let's do the other side. And I can see this and probably see it opened up a little bit more in there. All right, so I'm going to do my two circles. I'm going to try to make sure it lines up so I can actually do a little light line as it goes across right here, right in here. And I know, um, try to catch my symmetry still. Do one circle, then do the other circle right next to it. Do two circles. All right, and then um, a triangle. Connect it right there at the bottom. A little triangle. All right, there it is. Outline it. And go around it. Around the outside. All right. 
you know. So I'm doing the inside line and then the other line. And it's not straight. Actually, I actually made it straighter than it is there. Kind of there's a little bit of wiggle in it. A little bit of wiggle. So I'm going out. There we go. If I'm drawing too slow, you feel free to draw more than one butterfly or have another butterfly going. If I'm drawing too fast, please tell me. I can slow down. I can repeat. This is, um, you know, this is interactive. This is not like watching a video. Uh, this is actually interactive. You can say, hey, repeat that. Or how'd you do that? I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat so I don't see anything new. Somebody had to go make dinner. Ooh, I should ask them, what are you going to make? <laughs> All right, let's uh, get to this uh, left side, finish up this left side. So we've got the left side. Um, all right, and just connects. Let's go up here and do that inside part. Outside part is where all the action's happening. Look at all that action. Wow, we have to break that apart. See how we're going to do that. So we got this outside part. Let's see. So we've already got this little, little uh, wing thing here. So there's this part here. Um, all right, so I'm, it's, it's all just segmented. It's all just segmented. So I'm gonna start off with this, our little, our little, um, well, this little thing that sticks out. I'm sure it has a name. I've seen butterflies with them, the tiger butterfly and some other butterflies with this little, little tip. So we're gonna use this as our, 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 um, our centerpiece. We're gonna go up and attach it to that, just like that. Okay, so it's that shape, attaching it to that. And then the other pieces kind of radiate from there. Uh, from the middle of this and the heart goes another one right there. See, that makes it easier. And then all these shapes. Yeah, this is more advanced. I'm trying to explain it. Oh, let's get these curves. Uh, same thing, uh, actually, let's do those arches. We're going to aim for those arches that there we go that arch and then put the um the other piece over it wow yeah it looks better in the picture <laughs> it's all good all right we'll do the arch again here's an arch right there on this side and then a smaller arch those little moon shapes little moon shapes all right here we go so we got another line that's just one more line actually Oh, interesting. There it is right there. It looks like it looks really complex, but there you go. That's it. So we had our centerpiece and then uh, just a line uh, below it and then a line above it. And then just put our little um, little moon shapes, little moon shapes in there. There we go. There's one moon shape. There we go. And then the other moon shape looks like it's already there. We'll just uh, make it darker. There it is. Wow. Actually, that was that was pretty good. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully you got it. If not, just practice it. We'll get this video up uh, Sunday, I'm hoping. And then um, I do have to, <laughs> gosh, go to the IRS. I've been trying to call the IRS. I've been, I'm not trying. I have been calling the IRS all week um, and having a terrible time trying to make an appointment, trying to make, oh my gosh, it's terrible. Trying to, because my mom is supposed to get stimulus. She said she never got it. I'm like, what? So trying to track that down has been, Quite a nightmare. I can't really. I'm like, OMG, how, how people who really need the money. I mean, my mom needs the money, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, she's, she's, well, I don't know. Ah, this world. Okay, so <laughs> I watch them pull this YouTube uh, video. All right, so we're going to do this other shape. So with this uh, shape here, we're going to echo it on this other side. That's how we're going to start again on this side. That's how we started on the left side. So we're going to go to the right side, try to get that loop in there that little loop and then you can go light at first if you're not feel if you don't feel confident go light and then once you feel like oh, okay it looks good see i go light and then okay it looks good then you can go darker you feel confident you got to build your confidence i call it confidence because you oh, okay can i do it can i you can't yet sometimes uh, but you confidence the more you practice the more you build that confidence oh that was the other thing i wanted to share wanted to share uh, something on our website. Oh, the video, that's that's where I put it. I got thrown off. I put it on uh, one of our 
pages on our website. All right, wow. Now we got to do the same thing on the left side to the right. And how we broke it down, well, we used our little handle here to kind of attach, and then we attached everything else around it. So we're going to do the same. And actually, I had this centerpiece. So let's get the centerpiece in first. Get the centerpiece in. It does come down a lot, a little bit, and then it goes out. Like you get this, uh, this other tear shape. So you want to see this shape first. Don't let all the little detail confuse you. You want to see this shape first, this, this big shape. And then the detail just fit, fits right in. And I think, yeah, yeah, a little bigger. Let's see. Yeah. I was asking Eladio, sorry, oh, an hour behind Denver. Oh, can I show it to you? Oh, uh, sorry, Josh. After. I think uh, I think I might have missed you. Yeah, Matthew, you were asking me. I live in Denver, Colorado. Is the time zone different where you live? Yeah, it's 727 right now. Yeah, it's 727. Oh, I should put that on the on the thing. Yeah, Pacific time. I forget. Yeah, we got people from all over the world, not just from Denver, Colorado. Yeah, this is a uh, Pacific time. So yeah, it's later. I know Yesenia, Yesenia, Yelena, Yelena is out in Virginia. She's sometimes out here. Sometimes we stay up till midnight for her time. It's like whoa, dedicated, hardcore hero. All right, so uh, down here, focus, focus. Uh, this is where I was left off. We lose focus. All right, so I'm, I'm working on the centerpiece right here. It does curve out. Um, does it curve a different way? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's right. it curves this way. I'm trying to get the right direction of this curve. There we go. There we go. There's the curves. Not exactly symmetrical. I feel like it's going up a little bit. That's okay. It's not about the perfection. It's about the practice. If I really wanted it, I'd probably draw it bigger and take my time a little more. Not talk while I'm drawing. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, here we go. All right, so now we're going to do the bottom part. Again, this is uh, broken down pretty pretty good. So we do this part here, the handle. So get a handle of this. And then we bring, bring this these two lines out. To that handle just like that so if you didn't get it on that first one hopefully you get it on this one there's those two handles and all it is is uh one more handle between one more line between that that segment there and then another one over here on this side uh kind of centered there we go right about there watch the angle that angle there we go see those that's it so if you can see the shape here and then uh, we'll do all the other shapes all right, so here we go. Let's do our little moon shapes. Get those little moon shapes in. Moon shape there. Moon shape here. That moon shape there. The little web, web shapes. Another, a bigger one there. Make it to that line. And then another big one over here. And this one has, uh, it's not quite a moon shape. It has like a little bump in it the opposite way. And then it comes in. Yeah, so that one is a little different. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. 7.30, wow. All right, let's move a little faster. Or how are we getting? I think we can move a little faster. Um, all right. We're going to do the top one. Some of you are probably already coloring this, and I'm going really slow. So we're going to go uh, up here. There we go. I'm going to have to do a little bit of erasing. To get that shape. There we go. Had I done it in pen. All right, here we go. That distance between there. And then you got the little tear shape. Definitely try to find an easier firefly next. All right. There we go. Yeah, this has a lot of detail. Try to match it up. I think I'm not. Yeah, so going across, going across. You do these uh, guidelines going across kind of helps with, with the symmetry and looking across. I can see this heart is going a little bit higher. We dropped it a little bit more. It's all right. This as well. That's all right. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's call it a wrap. So I got this tear shape up here. 
and then now this next shape there and then the little detail on the inside it curves this way like an opposite c just go in there these little segments all the way up try to match my spacing i'm not going to count <laughs> i don't want it to i don't need it to be perfect if i did i would count and make it you know more more precise all right i uh, i see this angle it's off this little curve i want to curve it and this is just my sketch so I'm, i can fix that sketch just going i know it's, this is the direction it's going to be in i can erase that but i don't have to i just want you to just to be clear so you can see it's this is the direction because now i can go ahead and um actually let's do the this side first because then our 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 little curves on this side should match the ones on the outside so here we go i just did um now these will be c's like the letter c right there little curves there's one that's about the same size two three four five six seven and there was eight so i think i i think i got the eight the little curves there and then um and then close them up little moon shapes all right we're almost done i'll take a quick look for uh while i'm looking you can actually you know draw another one or draw a different one with a different design uh, add maybe uh, other shapes to it. Get creative. So it's not just about copying. It's about, you know, also getting creative. You know, how can you change it? Can you change the size? Can you change the, um, you know, the proportions, right? Can you play with the proportions? And I can do that really quickly here. Let's see, like this butterfly here. You just really quickly just play with it. Let's see. Uh, uh, what took a half an hour over there i can do this like really quick just playing with these shapes let's see and uh getting that a little quicker especially once you have the experience so when you first time you do something it, it, it goes slow and then you pick up speed all right there we go there's our butterfly all right i'm gonna look for a uh i'm gonna look for a firefly from one fly to another and then we're going to, uh, I'll share my screen, see what I'm looking for. Let's look for a, a firefly, funny a firefly drawing, firefly cartoon, it's a cartoon drawing. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Right off the bat. I like this one. Am I sharing my screen? Yeah, there it is. This one's, oh, the face is a little complex. The body actually looks simple. The face is more complex. Uh, let's see if I can simplify. Oh, this one's definitely a lot simpler. This one's really good. Less detail, cute face. Uh, see, it's just finding the right drawing. And sometimes you got to struggle with it. Like, oh, this was too hard. I got to find an easier one. I like that. That's why I, you know, <laughs> I like the suggestions, even suggesting pictures having the pictures already ready. Oh, this one's definitely a lot easier and a lot cuter. This is more, yeah, it's definitely simplified. I want, I want something not that easy, not that hard. I really like that one, actually. Let's go with that one. Little firefly suggested by somebody. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the image address, paste it up here. So if you want to screenshot it, if you want to shoot it with your pictures, so you can have the actual um, thing we're drawing. And then we're going to go over here. Uh, thumbs up, I see. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, put it in the chat. Where's my chat at? There it is. Uh, I got to go still. Oh, it's Josh had to go. I didn't read who it was. Say, hey, save me something. <laughs> Just kidding. I had a good lunch. <laughs> lunch is holding me over tonight. All right, uh, here we go. Um, there's there's our drawing. And we're going to go for it. Let's go for it. Let's print it out. Let's see how big this thing prints out. Really cute. Uh, print, print. That's a good size. Print. All right. We'll take a little break. Actually, we'll share after this, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to the intermediate perspective drawing and form. Oh, it's way too light. 
well, this is a good, uh, and I need to zoom out now. You can see how the difference is, uh, how, how uh, all right, compared to the other one. Oh yeah, it's time to check my printer, see what's wrong with it. It, it has enough ink, but I think it dried out or something. I don't know. All right, so let's uh, draw right on top of this. I didn't, uh, okay, so there is an oval shape in here and two circles, the two circles. Uh, biggest thing with, with uh, learning to draw is getting these angles, especially when you have two circles together, uh, getting that angle. You can see the center, that will help a lot. And then uh, my paper straight, because my camera's not. Um, and then the oval underneath, there's an oval underneath here, right about there. Actually, a little lower. There's that oval shape. And then you've got this shape here, this other shape, this egg shape. And then another shape here. And then the hands are just uh, two oval shapes as well. There's an oval shape there, another oval shape here. More oval team leaves. And then the wings kind of just go over it. Yeah, okay. Curve around. All right. I think that's that's good enough. Let's get that feel there. And all these little legs. I'm gonna have to break that down. But you can see the big shapes. All these little shapes kind of just fit in there. There's this this foot right in that leg. There we go. That's good. All right, let's do this. Okay, so this seems really complex. Uh, it it, it kind of is. So, um, but it's simple shapes. We'll start off with that angle. We'll start off actually with two circles. We'll start off there. So sometimes you want to start off differently. But um, when I'm explaining something, just make sure you have space for the body. We're going to start off with the head. Uh, two circles. I'm using a pen now. All of a sudden, um, and uh, you get one circle. All right, that's probably going to be the challenge first. Try to get one circle. And then from here, we're going to attach the other circle, but we want to get that angle. And there is a little bit of a gap between the eyes, a slight gap, so a slight gap. And then um, that angle. So uh, once you see an angle, angles stay the same. No matter how big or how small you draw this, if I were to draw this bigger, that angle is still going to be the same angle, this angle here. So I'm um, trying to keep that same angle. The width also, this also helps getting keeping that width of that circle the next circle because the first circle good and then the second one we try to match it try to match that first circle and almost eyeballing some symmetry we're still doing that symmetry challenge all right so I'm trying to capture get to be the same size i need to add a little bit more using a ballpoint pen there we go that looks good Maybe a little bigger, it's a little smaller. All right, so uh, underneath the, these two eyes is another oval, is an oval. The two eyes are circles, but this oval underneath, so it kind of goes here. You want to kind of almost imagine it underneath um, the two eyes, because that's what's going to make it more solid. And it looks like it actually reaches out back. It doesn't go in front. So these eyes are actually shifted a little bit. This oval comes back here, almost like three quarter view or slight angled view. So let me see if I were to draw it, let's, where's my pencil? Blue um, orange. It would go in here, there, there. That shape, notice how it comes out on this side. Let's get it going. All right, there you go, little firefly. I wonder if, um, huh, if they're male or female. That's interesting. Yeah, I did, uh, went hiking, I think it was last year, and uh, saw a firefly early morning. There was a firefly up there. Oh, and you know what? It was something luminescent. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it was a firefly. It could have been a worm, but it glowed. It was an early morning hike up in the San Gabriel Mountains. Like, what's that? That's something glowing. It could have been a glowworm, actually. It didn't really take a lot of time to look at it, from what I recall. All right. There we go. 
All right, so we're going to draw the two, uh, actually, the body. Uh, zooming out enough. Let me move this out of the way. All right, hanging in there, people. All right, thank you for hanging in there. Whew. This warm weather. 754, 742, what are you talking about? You're scaring me. All right, let's 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 wrap this up really quickly. So, um, okay, once I have the head, I can actually um, use that to kind of guide me with the body because um, I, I, I feel pretty confident with the ratios and the proportions of that. Now, I can use that as a guide to help me with the, the, the rest of the body. From this tip of the eye, I can actually kind of see an angle from here to, to this, and I can almost use this as a shape here. See this shape here? This uh, almost triangular shape. So from here, that angle and here, this angle uh, kind of helps me see how big the body is going to be. Because that's proportion, um, how big something is compared to something else. So don't want to blow it out of proportion. It's got that big tail here. And it's almost like a circle with a little bit of a triangle on it. So I'm getting that shape, a little bit of a that egg shape. There we go. There we go. Just in time for spring break. There we go. Trying to get that shape a little bigger. I'm adding to it. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we have the body. There's two parts to the body. And then the arms kind of are overlapping, but I'm not worried about that. I want, I'm worried more about, about this. I'd probably draw it lightly. I'm worried about this, this shape here and that shape there. And then there's another shape that like the neck part attaches to that. All right, so there it is. All right. <clears throat> and then we've got the wings. Wrap to draw, ratios, angles, looking for angles, proportions, and then just practice. Sometimes you want to just focus on ratios for a while. It depends on where you're at in your studies. <coughs> I think I'm going to use a marker to finish this one up, get a little more solid sketchy lines. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with where everything's at. There's a little bit uh, comes up a little bit more. And actually, oh, there's a little bit of overlap on the second wing, uh, which I'm going to lose slightly. That's OK. <clears throat> that comes down. And that's a good shape. <coughs> Where's my cough button? There it is. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm pretty happy with there, where everything's at. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing detail. I can probably still put in the legs. This is probably the main leg here. This main one here, this is the main leg. And then everything else kind of um, <clears throat> goes off of that. Uh, there's two legs under this one, one here, one there. And then another one coming up in here which I'm going to drop a little bit because I think my angle's off or something. I'm going to drop it because if I do it the right angle, it should be going straight up. <clears throat> Something's off. But it's not full of off. If it was full of off, then it would be awful. But I don't think it's awful. It's just slightly off. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <laughs> Silly joke. Huh, That's I'm a good one. <laughs> It's, it's, it's cheesy. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So now I'm attaching the, the, the two parts, the arms and the legs or whatever they are, I have two parts to them. So getting that first part and then the second part, a little bit smaller, getting that angle in that part. <clears throat> and then um, this foot here coming back at that angle. This one comes back at that angle. There we go. And I think there's smaller ones. There's still two more in between those three. You know, we have those three and in between those two are smaller ones. Yeah, my, my angles are off, something's off. 
<coughs> it's not just my coffin. It's okay if you don't put them in. Sometimes you can have liberty. Use your artistic license. Like, wait a minute, something's off. I'm sure I'll look at it later and see, oh, this is what's off. That's okay. I'm going to use a little bit of overlapping. Well, there, actually, there is overlapping on this one. So this, this leg comes, it's, it's further away. It's a little smaller. It's in here like this. And then it comes down like that. <clears throat> There's that one. And the other one here, even if I draw it really small. So I'm going to draw a little bit more of overlapping, even though this one doesn't overlap. And then, and then it's going to hide it under there. Nobody's going to know, except us. We know the secrets. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, get into uh, the face. <clears throat> it's, it's actually pretty simple. We can zoom in. It's just uh, two circles. So we've got the pupil. Try to get that pupil. And then you've got the highlight or some kind of light part like right in the center. And then all that is shaded around it. It's a good exercise, good practice to try to match your drawing. So we're gonna use our guidelines again, maybe use it, add some new guidelines and then go to the next eye. And I think it should be a little bigger now that I look at it. You can always add, that's a good thing. If you go too small, a little small, I'm gonna add it, make it a little bit bigger now that I give it a second look. Add a little bit more, darken it a little more. There we go. Speedy Gonzalez. All right. <clears throat> Let's go with that other eye. Mm -mm -mm. Right in there. Try to center it. Get the right size. Get that little highlight, which is uh, usually not centered. Usually highlights aren't centered. They're usually off-centered. But this gives it a kind of look like you're, you know, staring right at you with no highlights. Uh, and then shade it in. Just going to shade it in. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, 749. <laughs> choo choo. Chugging right along here. There we go. I'm trying to make the eye symmetrical. Yeah. All right, here we go. Then there's an eyelid. Eyelid. Add a little bit of an eyelid to it. Eyelid. Watch your spacing. A little bit of an eyelid. Shade it just slightly. And then it has some eyelashes. It has three little eyelashes, little triangles, three little curved triangles. Uh, one, two, and three. And I don't think I did that well. <clears throat> It's okay. Holy macaron. <laughs> That's my daughter listening in. Okay, we're going to draw the other eyelid. Bring it up a little bit. There we go. And it's slightly shaded. Actually, yeah, it's pretty dark purple, actually, in the picture. That eyelid. And then the eyelashes. These eyelashes are a little bigger. Um, so they should be about the same. I don't think I'm curving them right though. Hopefully. I love it when uh, your drawings come out better than mine. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, and then it's the smile. And we're almost done. All right, smile is, um, I'll do the, this uh, banana shape. Let's do the outside and then uh, and then just get the inside. There's that, that shape there. And there's a little bit of a gap. I think I might have not nailed it. A banana. All right, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it, make it a little thinner and then make it a little bit wider. I have to readjust. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you do have to like adjust things on the fly. On the firefly. Oh, brother. 
All right, here we go. I think that's it. All right, cool. Just a uh, color. So if you have color, um, that's great. Feel free to add stuff. Feel free to add. I think that's it. Uh, or our wings. I think I kind of just sketched them, but I think they, they look pretty good right there. This is not a totally beginner beginner. I think I think this is a little bit of a challenge as well. Almost intermediate. This is like um, almost intermediate drawings here. Maybe next time, next week. Try to start off really simple. Well, that's my challenge. Try to find simple drawings. All right, here we go. Oh, we're missing the antenna. It's the antenna. All right, we're done. There's one antenna and then the other. All right, we're gonna be going with perspective next uh, after our sh we share our drawings. We're doing good on time. We'll spend a little bit of time sharing your drawings. If you'd like to share, you don't have to share. Um, let me see, should I bring out my colored pencils, add a little bit of color, I guess. Uh, oh, am I zoomed in too much? Yeah, I'm zoomed in too much. There we go. I don't know how accurate. There's something off, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> that song actually was in my head, uh, the Beatles. No, it's the Beatles. It's all right. Uh, earlier. Here we go. Yeah, we're missing slight details on the wings, but well, if you can get it, get it great. If not, it's all right. I'm just gonna shade it really quickly. And then we use artistic license. And if you're not using color, it's going to be really hard to tell that it's a firefly. People are going to say, what is that? So we have to give them clues. Uh, color pencils. Oh, ah, we got markers. Got a little bit of, of a color definitely here with this. Uh, and it's a glowing, glowing thing. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, share out. If you'd like to share out, you don't have to. I'm adding, there we go, the yellow makes a difference. There we go, going a little over here. There we go. All right, there we go, there we go. glowing little. Let's add a little more color. Purple, see how dark it is. So I'm gonna do it in the eye lids. This is really dark if I were to, if I had a, yeah, it's good for the dark areas. But if I were to do the face, it'd be too dark. Maybe the lips, the lips are good, this purple. And sometimes you wanna test your materials out on a different piece of paper before you lay down, you do all this work and then all of a sudden you use a marker you're not familiar with and you're like, oh no. Okay, <laughs> more, more time to practice <laughs> and get to know your materials. So I definitely know this is a uh, purple way too dark if I were to, um, ooh, let's test this one. Uh, this is, uh, no, it's a really thin pen. Oh, this is a good color though. Let's see, uh, oh, yeah. it's really thin, but I can really quickly sketch. Yeah, it's really thin. Take a little bit longer to color it. Back and forth. All right, so if you'd like to share, if not, we'll move on. Do we see any hands? I think uh, let's go with that. All right. Good night, Lalia. Thanks for, for a fun class. See you next week. All right, Maria. 7.54. Well, yeah, it was just a minute ago. I didn't even know she was here. 35. Yeah, you can a little bit of shading here and there. You can add grass. You can add other things, another butter, uh, another firefly. Yeah, tell a story because it's what it's about. What's your story? Michael Myers. All right, that's cute. Am I frozen? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. All right, here we go. All right. Oh no, there's I see I see some movement. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. 
if nobody's going to share, that's okay. Well, I can go in and uh, grab that drop. Well, that's not a big deal. Actually, wouldn't it? it's not even worth going to the car for. They're two like little sketches of people I drew today. No, I think I think we just need more time. Oh, more time. Oh, okay. I think so. I don't know about other people. That's fine. That's fine. I'll I'll go to my car then. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, take your time. Hurry up. No, There's a song that goes like that. It's, and then there was a movie we, I just saw that they used that same line. Take your time, hurry up. No, take your time. Definitely, you cannot rush. Uh, art cannot be rushed. <laughs> Although it is sometimes. I will be right back. All right. What I should have done is uh, pause the recording. Oh, it's all good. All right. So here's my two sketches I went to get. There they are. Actually, we can see a little closer. That's Mr. Brian and uh, I can't remember her name. All right. Well, that was <laughs> I wanted to share. My Zoom drawings. Somebody shared their Zoom drawings tonight. <clears throat> can't see top. Can't see top. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, feel free to take your time. Feel free to add stuff. It is uh, 7.59. We're going to be drawing. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to do those. Somebody, uh, I don't know, see who, who requested requested this. Uh, see if that person is here. Um, oh, it doesn't even show. Oh, yes, it does. Costanza. Costanza? Con Constanza. Constanza, is she here tonight? Or he? It's a sheet. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there you are. All right, cool. So um, uh, your little, um, little perspective holes, caves? Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, so I'll, I'll do one. I'll do those, and then we'll do perspective. We'll talk a little bit about, because uh, those are tilted in space. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll do that one. That's fine. We can only uh, make one. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll do one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And then we're going to do a uh, form. All right. So we do have that picture. I will copy the image address. Paste it. There it is. Put it in the chat. Yeah, keep it simple, my art teacher would say, tell me all the time, keep it simple. Kiss, he would tell me, kiss, Chavez, kiss. Keep it simple, student. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple, student, yeah, some people use another word for that, but yeah, sometimes uh, I, I, can, I can get uh, very complex, very detailed, especially my work. 
can simplify, simplify, simplify. I'm looking at it now. Huh? Did I pull it too much? Where did that one go to? It's all good. It's, it's a warm evening. All right, 801. <clears throat> I, I should color mine butterfly. Where's my, where's my butterfly? Is? Add some color to it. Mm -hmm. This is the beaver we drew last week. Or the beetle. <clears throat> That's what I kind of imagined in drawing tonight, a beetle. Uh, but uh, different, something different. So hopefully this wasn't too challenging, um, but it's just the right, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you got to find your challenge, whatever it is. If it's too easy, you get bored. If it's too hard, you you <clears throat> don't want to give up. A lot of sometimes you, 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 people do. That's where it's like, oh, and sometimes they give up, like, just like right when they're about to get it. And they're like, I can't, but you know, it's like just, just a little more, just a little more of a stretch, a little more of a push. And then you get it, but um, yeah, too many people just stop. Like, oh, just a little more. And it, it is that practice, getting those 10,000 drawings out. You get to the good ones. Um, Irma, good evening, Irma. Have a good one. Eight. Oh, three. Yeah, it was a minute ago. You're welcome. I can share my bubble audio. Okay, great. Okay. Let's see what you got. So, uh, hold on, am I? All right. There you go. Oh, love the color. Very cute. <laughs> I I actually wish I didn't draw the the pencil line around here so it could look like it's a glowing more. Oh but. yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. You you're thinking values. Yeah, you're 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 yeah, there you go. <laughs> you're making that transition. That's good. Where you where you focus on values, very nice. Can you show it again, please? I'm sorry, I missed it. I mean, it looks like it's glowing anyway. Yeah, yeah the glow. Nice. It reminds, me, it reminds me of Bud's Life. I know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that was a cute movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was done really quick, too. The, I can see the, the shortcuts they took on that one. It's interesting. You can see some of the characters that are just, like, really stiff. It's amazing. Um, Unreal 5 was just released this week. And, like, OMG. Oh, my gosh. I, I should share that. It's a 3D. It's, and it's free. It's a 3D program they use to make uh, games and and um, like Fortnite and uh, other games. And they also use it in the movies. They actually use the Mandalorian. Uh, they, uh, they used um, Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine 5 is now out this week. Uh, we're using Unreal Engine 4 in my class. And it's, it's, it's quite a big program. We're getting some crashes on some of the, the laptops. They're crashing, but... The kids are hanging in there. Oh, so be patient and persistent. Patience and persistence. Patience and persistence pays. All right, and and Francois. Let's see what you got. Let's replace. There we go. Ooh. Oh yes, unmute myself. I am I unmuted? No, we can hear you. <laughs> Um, I mute myself. Um, okay, so I I did I did have that Procreate app you suggested. Ah. 
this is I'm, I'm but i'm still learning how to use it that's okay that's that, that's the thing no 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 worries you nailed the face sweet now um yeah how do you like it yeah i love it it's so much easier and it's fun to use it's yes. it's uh, very friendly thank you yes. that was a great recommendation and reminder because i realized i had it oh <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I, i've done that yeah like somebody recommend i did something i found something and they recommend it yeah there's another one too that's actually free um uh, what is that called and I, i haven't used it much but it's uh it's krita actually it's called krita how do you spell that k i believe it's k-r-i-t-a and i haven't used it much but it's for the computer you can actually it's a it's a program for a uh, pc or I, th I think it might be for mac as well but it's krita k-r-i-t-a let me take let me take a look oh, yeah i'm glad you like it yeah i like it a lot yeah, too thank you. It's, oh it's great yeah but yeah it is krita krita.org and it's free. Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I've seen it now. Yeah, you can see oh, some amazing stuff on it right now. Let me let me share my screen. Where's my here we go? Just a second. I'll share my screen. Right there. There. All right. You can see that. That's on the Crita website. Yeah, Krita, look at this one. Free education and resources. Wow. Artist interview. I, and I think it does animation as well, because I know um, Procreate does animation. So you can see software, education, tutorials, resources, reporting bug gallery. Let's take a look at the gallery. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, this is definitely, look at the, the study of light and shadow and stuff like that. That definitely is another level. And then here, this is a little more our, uh, cartoony, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. You got to find your style. <laughs> Look at that. That's cute. Look at the form. really mastered the form and the way it, uh, it tilts in space. We'll be talking about that form next. And look at that. Wow. The way the light and dark. Yeah, that gallery. Wow. And then you have cartoon stuff here. This is, this is nice, too. It's cute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, amazing stuff. Wow. Oh my gosh. Sister by the sea. Wow, look at that. That looks like a photograph. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, and this is Krita. Yeah. Aladio? Yes. Um, could I ask you a question about um like if you wanted to make the bug look like it's moving? Uh huh. Um, uh where would you put like little moving lines like near the wings oh yeah yeah you you yeah you can put little um moving lines into the wings definitely the wings move the most um i was already thinking of animation um programs oh to make it look like it's moving yeah you would you would you can uh put little echo echo lines um but my animation teacher said don't do that but that's when you're animating when you're drawing you can actually put little um like um uh, uh, I would I, like little lines on here like this, uh, probably like the, even a little echo. I don't know if you can see my screen. Let me see. Let me stop sharing. I can't see your screen. Can I, can I just make a comment? Um, yes. Um, Bill Plimpton is an animator. I don't know if you know his work. Uh-huh, yes. And uh, he, uh, I actually took a, kind of like a workshop with him and he's like so opposed to, um, what do they call those action lines? What yeah. They, he's like, you know, like if he wanted to show um, somebody driving a car on a dirt road, he would have, you know, he would have dirt flecks, you know, or, you know, he would use actual, like whatever's happening in real life because you don't right. see speed lines in real life. Yeah. And he was like very, you know, that was like, uh, you know, a big no-no for him. Yeah. My animation teacher as well. Yeah, he, he was a big no-no. And he got a lot of his kids into uh, Disney and, and, and Warner Brothers. But yeah, he says, yeah, these are these are no-nos. But when in an illustration, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, but, but when even you... in an illustration, he probably would have uh, something like maybe sweat flying off or, you know, something yeah. Oh, yeah. else to show that, you know, that... Uh, 
I mean, that's just, you know, that's one person, but, you know, and your teacher said the same thing. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, when it comes to animation, definitely don't want to do an animation. And and when you're dealing with something that doesn't move and you're you know, already dealing with a flat subject, you know, how do you make something look like it's like it's moving? That's that's definitely a challenge. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, these little lines kind of. And it's a, it, and then you got to, you know, take advice is it is it you know ex, you know is it like you know find your own personal preference right, exactly exactly but you know sometimes i find that i get influenced by my teachers and you know you, you do have to make up your own mind and yeah exactly what works for you right make up your own mind, find your voice yeah yeah, that, yeah. And, and and then just take it, does it look good does and then try it hey wait a minute i, I like i actually like the way that it looks or i don't like the way it looks Right, yeah, so it is using developing your taste. I mean, it looks fine, you know. <laughs> not everybody's, you know, not everybody thinks the same. No, no, I don't. Like his, his, uh, he has like a full length movie, um, um, Angels, Idiots and Angels, or Angels, <laughs> and Idiots, something like that. I don't know if you've seen it. And yeah. every one of those frames is hand drawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, so he's well, really he's very talented in his yeah, work. Yeah, he won an Academy Award, I think, one of his yeah, early, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's doing solo. All right, we got Priyanka. She's ready to share something. She's got her hand up. Let's see what you got. Priyanka. All right, let's see. I'm going to spotlight you. There you go. Oh, you're in a different place. Yeah. Wow, there you go. Wow, look how big you did it. Very I know how I did. <laughs> Wow, what you use pencil? Is that pencil? Yeah, that's pencil. Wow, it's really dark. Very nice. Yeah. And I have the butterflies. Oh, you did more than one. Awesome. Wow, with shading. Very nice. Wow. The bottom's like a Spanish butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I just do whatever came to my mind. That's, that's great. Beautiful. I love the designs on them. Yeah, you added like henna kind of a yeah 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 sweet gorgeous mm -hmm. awesome all right Ine, let's go thank you for sharing yeah. okay um there we go have the there it is, uh, there it is. Hmm. ink uh marker and ink wow. marker and pen bold bold yeah and then this one okay I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. It's good. You, you got you, her um, eyeliner. It's like really dark. Yeah. Really yeah. thick. That's all right. all right. Oh, you're welcome, Donna. Dana. All right. Thank you uh, for sharing. And then I'm just reading some of the comments. Uh, he's gorgeous, Anne. Uh, I did a class once with 3D animation software called New Tech Lightwave. Oh, yeah. I've done Lightwave. Man, that's a while back. I remember Lightwave. Uh, Got to run off early, but thank you so much. You're welcome, Brianne. That's very cute on the last drawing. Oh, Enoch. All right, let's see what you got. Hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. I love those shades. The one on the right has a really great feel to it. Strong mm -hmm. solid form. Yeah. yeah the what the color ink, yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. On rice paper. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing, you know. Sweet. All right. I think that's it. I think we're going to go to, unless I see another hand. No. All right. We're going to go into uh, drawing a hole in the wall. Now, let me go ahead and share my screen, and then we're going to jump into that. We are 15 minutes uh, a little behind, but that's okay. It's all good. 27 people now. Uh, it's warm evening. Uh, share my screen. Here we go back over here. We're going to be doing, I, I think I had it already paste. There we go. So we're not going to be doing that top one. We're going to be doing this bottom one, um, this little hole in the wall. It is an oval shape. Uh, and then with all these little cracks and crevices in space. So, um, and then this one's probably a little more complex. We're not going to head to that one. Uh, it's it's doable, but um, I, think, I think this is going to give us a little more Stuff to talk about. So uh, it's there. Let me make it bigger. If you want to screenshot it, actually screenshot it or take a picture. Let me zoom in. I think I can zoom in. There we go. 
Let's zoom in on that one. It's a little blurry, but uh, we have enough information to make it our own. Here we go. Let me put it in the chat. <laughs> I like that Enoch, great one. There we go. There it is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let me, uh, should I print it out? No, we don't need to print this out. We don't need to print this out. All right, so uh, what this is, is uh, an oval in space. Um, this is the big shape that we kind of see. So let me try to actually uh, block that in. I'm going to annotate it. Uh, where's my shapes here? There's an oval. It's this uh, shape uh, right about there. Uh, I don't see it in the chat, sorry. Oh, oh, you don't see the, okay. Oh, you know what? I send it to Brianne only. Let me uh, send it to everybody. Uh, sorry about that. Sometimes when somebody, um, there it is. When somebody sends me a chat personally, I, I, yeah, I, there we go. I can't, res I don't, I respond to that person only. Okay, so you can kind of see this oval shape. There we go. In there. That's the implied shape. There it is. That's it on the outside. You can probably make a smaller one. But that's that's a good notice the height and the width, almost like an egg shape, probably a little bit longer. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Let's stop sharing. Let's jump into this. Let's jump into this puppy. All right, here we go. Let me highlight myself. And um, yeah, how can we make this look like it's uh, three dimensional? So we're gonna start off with that shape, that oval shape. Uh, here we go. Let's jump into that oval shape uh, pencil. All right, so <clears throat> we got our oval shape, a really light, just get it in, blocking it in, because that's what, what it is. Um, there's uh, parts that are closer to us, and then there's parts that are further away. So I'm going to just uh, start with the ridge. I'm going to go around with the ridge and not worry about anything else. All right, why don't we just start actually in the back? Uh, there is a, a, like a slight V up at the top. And we're really just drawing the, the hole and how it kind of um, starts there at the top. Um, and then it goes in almost flat, all angles. Comes back, comes in a little bit and then back out. So there, you can see how it fits there on that oval shape. Uh, I would say we started off at 12 o'clock. This is a clock, 12 o'clock. Right now this is at uh, one o'clock, two o'clock. And then uh, let's see, around three o'clock, we have this shape that actually comes in probably right about there, actually curves around it. So um, there's another shape smaller than that before that. So. I kind of see that around three o'clock and then the shape before that, notice how I did that lightly. The shape before that kind of is very similar, but smaller. There we go, like that right in there. There we go, that one. Do the, again now, that oval shape, that th the three o'clock one, and then it curves down, there's a slight curve down. All right, now here it gets a little more angular, not so curvy. So this, this side up coming up, slight angle going up from actually, or down, depends on which way you're looking at it, but from left to right, it's going down, from right to left, it's going up. So that's going up at that angle, and then it goes in at this angle, like that. We're gonna bring that down, widens up, down like that. All right, that's like at uh, between three and six. It's at like 4.30. At six o'clock at the bottom, uh, actually that's where this is. 
come down this way and then it curves out that way. There's that rectangular shape. I'm looking ahead. You can see I'm looking ahead right here. That That's uh, six o'clock. This is 12. This is six right here. Kind of moving it off center a little bit. Um, and here we go. So we've got that shape. Then I'm going to get this other shape that attaches. And what's great about this is that it doesn't matter if the proportions are off or things are off slightly. We're looking at angles. So notice angles with wrap ratios, angles, proportions. Watch the angles. There's a slight angle here. It's not totally flat. This is kind of curving down too. Notice the angles. So if, if anything, you might have trouble with the angles. This is a big piece on angles. <clears throat> I'm going to round out the edges a little bit because it's like an open hole. There we go. This one goes across. It's actually pretty, pretty horizontal, this line right here. This one <clears throat> does have a slight angle. It does curve back. Notice, notice the angles. Notice the angles. This angle coming down. A crack there. All right, 26 people hanging in there. Let me zoom in a little more. Oh, that's better. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, from this angle, if I'm going too fast, let me know. I gave my students cones, <laughs> one with a, a, a green dot, red dot, yellow dot. They want me to slow down, they, they move the cone to, or the red dot, slow down or repeat, or if they need help. All right, we're going to go up here, and here at um, nine o'clock is where this comes out this way, a little bit from nine o'clock down. Actually, we have this oval on this other side. Straighten it, give it a little bit of a push, not totally over. Somewhere in between that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do another echo one, very similar to that, right on top of that, still around nine o'clock. And then here, there's like an S curve on this next one. So it goes, uh, bumps up, and then it comes down, and then it goes back, curves back. Oh, and that's between, oh, here we go. Ah, a different eraser. Oh. Good. All right, so there's one more little, um, <clears throat> inkling that kind of comes forward and back right around there. So there it is, our spider, we're done. No, that's, that's basically the crevice. Now uh, from here, this is where uh, our angles, the angles aren't, aren't uh, in this drawing, the angles are kind of like all over the place. I'd like to actually kind of keep them going in one direction. Um, all right, well, into the angles. I'm gonna go ahead and stop for like a second. And then we'll get to the angles. Let me see. Let me see. Grab a little so. Okay. So you should have that. Next, next one is actually pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. This is what's going to give it depth. The hole, this is the hole in the ground. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, good thing I'm doing it in pencil. I wanna clean up some of the lines so I took, uh, got it like needed eraser. Let me clean it up a little bit, uh, slightly. And I'll probably have to need to lighten some of these lines up. But it's all right, I'm just looking all over. Yeah, some of them are a little dark. <clears throat> okay, all right, I think we're ready. All right, so um, it does go down into darkness. Let's start from here. This one here, notice how it comes out that way. This line here just comes down at that angle. 
this one here comes down at that angle. This one here comes down at that angle, right at the tip. This one here probably brought it a little too forward. Push it back a little bit down. And these are all very similar angle, kind of straight up and down, uh, almost vertical. If they're not perfectly vertical, that's OK. And it does go down into darkness. We are going to use value to, um, to show that. And I'm going a little fast, so I don't know. I'll slow down. Just getting the points, these points right here, these points that right where right where it curves. We had that um, drawing that ribbon. This reminds me of that. Right where that tip of that curves, and then bring that down. Right where the tip of this curve is, and then bring that down. And that bring that down. Let's see where else. Well, that's about it. I think those are the main ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine lines, nine lives, nine lines. All right. Now the rest is just shading. The rest is just shading to make this uh, really uh, come to life. All right, so uh, the rest is just shading. That's 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 it. And texture. There's there are some line textures, but this is the this is the form. All right, so we're gonna shade it, and that's what's gonna make it pop. It's gonna bring it to life. Oh, I had my other eraser right here. Final one. All right, so this actually goes uh, good. To, I do use a blade a lot to 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 shade to um, for my pencils, and I I use my thumb and I push against it. I hold actually I hold my the blade so I don't cut myself. And then I use my thumb to kind of like push and just move the pencil, the, the lead, the actually the wood part away. Right, that's, uh, you gotta definitely be careful with blades. I had a student do it the opposite way once. That wasn't fun. All right, there you go. The, the shavings landed on, I can add some of that texture, some of that shading. Actually, you can actually do that with the, the, the blade get some of that graphite onto your pencil onto your drawing see all this graphite that landed on here shade a little quicker all right let's get into shading all right so we're gonna go shade the darkest darkest part first that's down here it's really dark um this is a uh, number two pencil i do have my other pencils so i don't know well, this is fine um and then it goes up. So this all this is really dark. Then it goes up. So what's what's important here is to try to capture that um, contrast. So this is a, a shape that's coming down in space. What's the contrast is the background here, dark against that. We want to make it more of a rendering as well. And notice how I'm actually, I'm holding it, my pencil like this, you can't see, I'm holding it a really steep angle. I mean, it's a really, I'm not, not, I'm not going like this. It's not up. It is down like this and I'm, I'm shading up and down. When you do it this way, you get um, smoother shading and, um, and faster shading as well. There's some textures. Let's get some of that texture in here. Some of these lines, actually, this is fun. We'll do some of that texture and then a little bit of shading. And then all this in the dark. I'm bring some of this dark up. And then um, bring some of the contrast there. This is more of a rendering. I'm trying to get rid of that line that I have right at that edge. So definitely a good value study. Speaking of values, definitely intermediate to a little more advanced. Definitely intermediate where we're talking about value now lightness and darkness and looking for that and shading that. And that's not, when you're learning to draw, it's not as important because what's important is the structure and the shading is, is make, it will make it look nice, definitely, but um, it's not something you wanna worry about when you're first learning. You wanna get the structure first because you can, this, the shading's like the icing on the cake. 
if the cake doesn't taste right, <laughs> you can put a lot of icing on it. But uh, yeah, yeah the, the structure has to be there, that structure. And then this is all is just the icing, making it look nice. All right, there's a, right in here, there's a, a line. It's just like a crack or something. Uh, I'm softening up that top edge, that top line. I'm trying to get rid of my lines a little bit um, to make it more of a rendering. And it does go from the dark, it goes up, it does go up. Think about where the contrast is, the difference. And it's as it goes up out of the hole, it gets lighter. All right. But as it goes into the hole, it goes darker. Put some texture lines over it. Dark at the top. Right at the edge. And then soften that edge up, bringing it down. So I'm trying to make it an edge. See, I'm trying, I'm getting rid of the lines. See, all this is a, is now an edge. It's not. And here you can see the lines. These lines I can just color all this in dark. And there's no lines here anymore. It's just an it's just a shade. Bring that same shade all the way down. Shade that front part. Try to think about where the light's coming from too. All the light effects in this whole thing. Bring this up, shade it. I think I lost a little bit of light in there. Oh no, this is it. Yeah, my shape's a little off, it's okay. I was like, hey, that's not, <laughs> I know that hole. That's not, doesn't look like that hole. <laughs> that's when you get to drawing people. It's like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like, that's okay. Yeah, faces are the, the, the biggest challenge. Oh, this brings me back to my, uh, the, the, the hole in the, the poem, the hole in the street. It reminds me, I should bring that up. The hole in the street, the challenges, the problems, the agony of defeat sometimes, and rising above like the phoenix. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and do that, actually. Let me find that poem while you're shading and following along. It's called The Hole in the Street. I think, wait a minute, what was it called? The Hole, the Habit. <laughs> the Hole. In the ground, no, the hole in the street. No, that's not what it's called. I did share this uh, a couple months. Uh, the hole in the street poem. Yeah, there it is. I walk down the street. And there it is. So as we're drawing this, I walk down the street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I am lost. I am hopeless. It isn't my fault. It takes forever to find a way out. That's chapter one. So it's an autobiography in five chapters. That's chapter one. Chapter two, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place, but it isn't my fault. It still takes a long time to get out. That's chapter two. Chapter three, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it. It is there. I still fall in. It's a habit. My eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Chapter four. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. Chapter five, I walk down another street. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the chat. This if you're interested in putting it along with this drawing that we're doing. A hole in the street. No, it's an autobiography in five chapters written by uh, Portia Nelson. All right, let's go back to my drawing here. Let's continue this hole in the street. Okay, so it's really important to try to get that the, the, the dark here, right, right at that edge, push it that way as part of this background, and then making this part stand out and pop. 
and making a difference. There we go, the top, <clears throat> keeping the top edge and then bringing that down. A little bit of line texture. <clears throat> Bring that darker. Right at the top, bring it down. All right. Well, I think this should have been out a little bit more. That's eh, okay. It's all good. And that's, yeah, that should have been out a little bit further. It's okay. Yeah. See this line up here? This line up here, I want to get rid of it. See, I'm going to just right below it, just blend it and bring it out softly, softly. I don't want to make a thicker line. I want to go, I want to go that line and then blend it out. This is a little bit of practice. This takes a little bit of practice. Your eye sees edges really strongly, but uh, if you make a line, I'm not making that line thicker. I'm blending it out. I'm blending it down, actually. All these lines, I'm trying to blend it down or lighten up. I have to probably go in there and lighten them, some of them up a little bit. <clears throat> Add some texture. Yeah, because you want to, there's a difference between rendering and drawing. R rendering is the next level of value where you actually don't have any lines. <clears throat> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say next. It, it's, it's a little more, I guess, if you're shooting for realism. You should always know what your artistic intent is. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make it look real? Are you trying to just get the feel of it? Or just we're trying to communicate. Because the ultimate thing is to tell stories. Tell stories with your work. Just learning to observe, learning to see, learning to see the angles, the values, the light and dark. Okay. All right, in here, this is all uneven. I'll just put a little bit of a shade to it. Still trying to get rid of that line up there, that line above this area here. I'm shading it down. Shade on it. And then the bottom up. All right, here we go. So all this is going to be really dark going up. So this whole edge down here is dark. And then we're bringing that up. up. There's some textures in here. There's a dark line right there. Or crevice. Crevice. Trying to get it all blended in. Shade all this. All this is dark inside, and uh, you want to try to get a gradient. So um, let me see. Gradient is getting one shade changed to another, but all this dark area. Let me do all the dark area first, and then I'll show you a gradient. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to make it really strong edge right there, which you're not supposed to have, but I'm doing. So you can see what I'm going to talk. What I'm talking about. What you talking about? What is? What you talking about? There we go. That old TV show. That was one of the catchphrases. All right. Different strokes. Here we are, pencil strokes. Okay, so I'm getting all my dark, all dark, all this is dark in here. All that dark darkness surrounding me. All that I see. All right, so that whole dark area. I'm gonna bring that dark area up, but as I go up, I lighten it up. All right, so there's, there's um, as it goes up, you know, I'm trying to get rid of this edge as well. See, and then I slowly, as it goes up, lighten it up. So it's a gradual change, a gradual change. You're not jumping from first grade to second grade. Actually, first grade to, you should be jumping first grade to second grade. You're not jumping from first grade to, to high school. All right, you want to make it a gradual change as it goes up. You need to, yeah. And if it's not, that's okay. This is not, doesn't actually have to be that exact. 
But the hole is deep and dark. All right, let me see anything in the chat. Nope. No, 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 no chat in the chat. It's just Chavez chatting. <laughs> Chavez is my last name. Actually, I've never used that alliteration before. Chavez chat. So this edge here, I'm going darker on this side because it's on the inside. There we go. So it goes up, lightens up. So it goes in, it goes darker. There is some texture on the outside. If feel free to, you know, just slightly light texture uh, and really make this not a line, but a crack. So you can thicken up parts of it um, like that, thicken up the edges, I'm thickening them up here like this right in there. Oh, this one right here, this edge. A line, I'm trying to watch my lines, I'm trying to make them more into edges. All right, there it is, 842, wow. So what this is, is a, an oval in space is, um, we didn't talk about this too much, um, let's, let's talk about that. So if you're looking at a circle, a circle looking straight down on it, it's a circle like this coin, but as it tilts, it turns into an oval. And you want to practice that, drawing that oval, because you'll see it everywhere. You'll start seeing it like, oh, okay, oh, there it is, there it is, right? Um, even in like these little cupcake things, if you're looking straight down at it, it's a circle, but then as you tilt it, uh, you start getting that oval shape, right? Um, and that's, that's that uh, intermediate level. I mean, you can tackle it as a beginner, and it's good to, to you know, to kind of like move forward quickly, but know that this is like the next level. You kind of want to, you don't have to master like lines before you go to shape. You want to kind of get a good hold of it and then go to shape. And then the next one is form. This is form, really, this is form. This is like, um, I would say this, this is like almost like cubes. Uh, th these were cubes, right? Um, a cube in space so you can see that that's like a cube right here and watching these angles and if i make it into a cube there, there it is right that's all this is it's just that cube because <clears throat> right, you have a flat top and then you have all this stuff coming down <clears throat> so that's why this is more of an intermediate and then you got shading and value stuff and it doesn't mean like I me mean, this is a simple one and it can it can get more complex and more difficult there you go Ta -da! wow that took a while all right so um we're talking a little bit more about form and then maybe um i oh, i do want to talk do a little bit of perspective um i don't know how much um ba -ba -boom. Okay. Oh, it was because it was a request. Let's see if that person is here. Or I can take any other request. Let me see. Let me go to my meetup. Oh, yeah. There's that flower. It same, has that same oval I just finished talking about. One of the flowers we drew a few weeks ago. All right. Let's see. Back in my, was it a chat or was it in the, uh, okay. No, it wasn't in the chat. And the, inbox it was in the actual today's class actually i've never really looked at that and i really um really helped guide tonight's drawings here we go 49 minutes ago beat and 20 others rzp was oh, that for next week oh no that's today here it is let me see oh there it goes ah yeah there it is photos one Oh, highlighter. I posted this picture as a possibility to learn how to do it. Thanks. I can touch up on it in the second hour. That's it. This is the second hour. Wick says the classes are April 21st at 6 p.m. and April 22nd at 9 p.m. Please help. Uh oh. It does? Wix? It does. Where does it say that? I didn't see that. Uh, Eladio, it changes the time for your time zone because I'm in New York. 
and it tells me the class is at 930, which is oh. correct for New York. Oh, great. So yeah. maybe that's yeah. what that is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start keeping an eye on it, make sure it says if it uh, put Pacific time or, or whatever. Ooh, free paint outdoor painting April 17th, free outdoor painting in Pasadena Part Du, plain air painting, South Orange Grove Boulevard. Hey, that's really close to where I live. About 10 minute, five, 10 minute drive. Huh, what is, oh, that's this Sunday. Uh, no, it's actually next Sunday. Spring break, huh? I should sign up for that. Well, they, they have got 43 people. All right, uh, let me see. Oh, uh, there were some suggestions. Where did I see those suggestions? I saw suggestions for tonight. Oh, that's where I saw it. I saw it under members. That's what I looked at. I don't know if I can see that. See more events. Okay. All right, how are we doing? Uh, I don't see any requests. Oh, last week landscape was too advanced for me. Oh, this is doable. Oh, great, great, great. Oh, that landscape, wow. Actually, I don't know. Oh, was it which landscape was that? Horses, horses. Okay. Oh, horses next. Okay, we can do that because uh, uh, it's it's close to anatomy. All right, let's do horses. Yeah, this is where um, you really need to practice. Um, there's two things that happen um, that makes this complex. One is understanding the. Um, proportions and then the second is understanding perspective so um and the first one comes first definitely proportions you want to learn the proportions first and then once you learn the proportions how do you tweak that so it looks like it's in perspective that's that's definitely the next step so uh let's look at horses and that goes with uh, anything you're drawing drawing people let's look horse horse drawings Oh, here we go. I like that one. Ooh, look at that one. Uh, 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 maybe you can't see it. 24 people hanging out. Sweet. Oh, it's close to the nine o'clock hour. Actually, we'll do that then. Yeah, this is more advanced already. So we're going into the advanced horse drawing. Um, let's see. Um, am I sharing my screen? There we go. Yeah, you can see the silhouette of a horse. This one looks interesting. Uh, but look at this one. You can see the structure and see the form. Really nice. Nice. And this is a profile view. Because you can get, even with this, get more advanced. This is here we have a three quarter view. This is a little more challenging. You got to find your wall, got to find your challenge. If it's too hard, you know, find an easier one. Usually the ones in the profile is a little bit easier than this three quarter one. It's uh, using actually already in perspective and, there's, and, and a little more complex. It's, it's a little easier to get it wrong. <laughs> so to say, yeah, look at that one. That's nice. Love the flow of this, the feeling of that. We got a good feel of it. Ah, oh, this one's cute. They're definitely out of proportion, but they're using the form. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Really like that one. All right, I don't know. I don't see anything in the chat. So uh, any suggestions? We're down to 23 hardcore heroes here at nine o'clock in LA time. Uh, let's see, uh, where'd my chat go? Here it is. Horses, uh, all right, cool. I like this one. I'm debating between this one and that other one. Where's the other one? I like this one. Let's copy the ad address, image address. And the other one. Not that one, <laughs> not that one, that one. I think this one, this one actually I like the way it's broken down. Although this one, let's, let's put it on two different. So this person, uh, I don't know, they suggested those, but they didn't come back. All right, that one, wow. This one's a little out of proportion, I, I feel. I don't know. I mean, well, definitely, I think it's, I feel it's a little stretch, but I don't know, who am I to? to say, I like this one. All right, we'll go with this one. That's probably be easier on my, on my ink. My... All right, so let's, uh, all right, let's do this one. Copy image address, there it is. All right, so get ready to screenshot it or do whatever you do here. 
I'm going to zoom in. There is a drawing of a drawing. You can see the muscles and the, the shapes here. This is actually really, it's a sketch. This is a sketch. All right, we're going to do that one. I'm going to put it, put it in the chat. Paste. And this is a good uh, next step before you draw uh, people or uh, people anatomy. Okay, so actually, why don't uh, I, while I'm still sharing, I can um, break this down. Let's break this down. So I'm going to look for <clears throat> the height and the width, the biggest shape I can see. Oops. What was that? Well, that was interesting. I never did that before. Um, where's my tools? Oh, here's the tape. There we go. There we go. All right, so you got this rectangle. There it is. There's that rectangle right about there. Actually, I can make it there as well. Depends on what you're looking at, what your focus is. I'm going to make it a little bit further in so I can bring it out. There we go. Let's move it back. Yeah, that's good right there see i'm seeing that and i can see the middle uh, the body's above the middle so i can see how thin the body is let's put another line there you can see the the middle part so we're breaking this apart now i'm going to use lines now let's go here right the center was right about there press down shift that's it right about there then i have this notice how it curves but i don't want to worry about the curve you can see it like right about there. Oh, look at that. And then this line here, right about there. And then, um, yeah, notice the little curves. Don't let the curves confuse you. It, it, it's better to kind of like see the straight line and then afterwards, um, you know, add the curve. This helps simplify it. And then, especially when you're first learning, you want to see straight lines and then the little curves actually it's not even that much it doesn't curve i mean it's very slight very slight there we go so that there's this one i would say there's this one and then that one there. yeah see look at notice how it slightly curves in yeah Notice how it tapers, 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 tapers out. Oh, that's all. Oh. Right, that one. Yeah, see how I'm simplifying it? See all that little fancy little curve in there? It's, this, is, this is what you should be seeing. Don't let that curve confuse you. That little curve right there. There you go. That's it. And that, look, that's, that's pretty straight. And this, I think it's curving wrong. But I mean, it's a quick sketch. Sometimes you're just sketching real quick. All right. Last ones. So there's one here. It usually goes straight. But this one, uh, there's two parts to it. We'll do that one and then down like that. Back. Actually, I could probably even something like that keep it simple keep it simple keep it simple chavez all right i think that's it i think that's it uh, okay so we're going to start off with that rectangle notice how much of a rectangle it is the ratios so if i were to get a square on it let's put a square on it so you can see the the height compared to the width i'm going to make a perfect square thanks to technology here this is a perfect square. I can see it coming out to here. Perfect square right there. The height and the width is the same. As I bring it out, the height and the width is the same right there. So it's just a little bit wider than a square right in there. Okay, so I'll make a note of that. Just a little wider. Notice the ratio. It's not a perfect square. And then the center is probably up here. Is that the center? Oh. Z, let me see. Uh, oh, I need to use my other tool. I need to use my other tool. This tool here, the selection tool. I have so enjoyed this evening. I am happy with the progress I've made. Oh, great. That's good to hear. 
Uh, Lalia Chavez, so, uh, Lalia, thank you so much. Take care. I'll stay safe. So the sixth wave ebbs quickly. Huh? What is that? The sixth wave ebbs. COVID. COVID. Oh. Uh, okay. So, yeah, COVID. <laughs> sixth wave ebbs quickly. Huh. So what do you mean by that? If I may ask. The two different variants, you know. Yeah. Oh, there's two different. Well, I know there's the 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 Omicron, and then there's the second virus that actually moving quicker than Omicron, which was yeah BA two, and then there's another one. Oh, really? And they're moving. Yeah. They're moving really quick. Yeah, it's it, it's hitting uh, Europe and China. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here. Wow. Oh well. well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, the it's if, if you're boosted and vaccinated, it's, you're not getting as sick. Uh -huh. But it's people who are immune compromised that's kind of dangerous, even if you're vaccinated. Yeah. And of course, you know, if you don't, if you're not vaccinated, well, you know what happens. Uh -huh. Right. Wow. Oh, scary stuff. Okay, well, I'm not boosted yet. <laughs> I don't have my booster seat. Are you right. not boosted? No, I'm not boosted. Get I've boosted. had my second booster, booster already. Oh, really? Oh, my yeah, God. so did I. Uh, Come on. <laughs> I didn't even feel this. The, the second booster, it was like I went in and it was like even milder than getting a flu shot. <laughs> wow. It was like a mild pinch, and I was like, what? I just got my other booster? I was like, really? <laughs> yeah. All right, good to know. All right, well, I'll have to schedule it in when I retire. <laughs> I'm retiring in two months. Well, you should get it done before they start charging you for it. That's uh, the thing. Uh, yeah. No, I think I'll get charged, I think. Well, uh, if, if part of your health insurance for post-retirement, that's fine. But they're gonna start charging you soon. Uh, oh wow! For COVID tests and everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me print this out. I think that I put it in the chat. I don't think I. You're too young to retire, Aladio. What are you gonna do with your time? Oh, uh, help you guys out. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Work, work, work on the videos. Work on a book. Work on. Uh, I have other other things I'd like to do. So your students gonna miss you at school. Yeah, well, I'm still going to keep in touch with some of them. Some of them are not. <laughs> no, leave my trash can alone. All right, here we go. Let me see. I think I'm slowing down myself. Let's. Uh... All right, uh, I'm trying to think here. All right, I'm going to clear my all drawings. So if you got that, you got it. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. Oh, I want to print this. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, and I wanted to get the, uh, that's what I needed to do. Copy and paste it. I couldn't even paste. Okay, so here it is. It's in the chat. All right, here we go. Let me print this out. And we're going to take on this horse. Here we go, of course. Oh, it's really small. That's all right. I could have made it bigger. All right, here we go. We're going to go with the horse, of course. Oh, this is hard. Try to break it down. We're going to start off with that square before it even comes out. Oh, it's too light. Yeah, so that's way too light. That's not gonna help. I gotta work on my printer. That's that's what I'm gonna do when I retire. Fix everything that needs to be fixed. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start off with a square. It's a little bit wider than a square. I, I don't have the uh, drawings because once I stop sharing, those drawings go away. So I'm trying to do some from memory. So it's uh, almost square. That helps make sure that it fits on our paper. So it's a little bit of square, it's a little bit wider. There was a really nice angle. I can't remember where it was. So it's a little bit wider. I'm using a pencil tonight. And then um, halfway point, it's, it was a little bit above the halfway point in the whole body. It was above the halfway point. So yeah, this is a little more advanced and uh, we did lose a, a few people, but we still have some hardcore people here, 19 of you or 18, including myself. We're gonna do this one. See, I think, I think we can get this one pretty quick. We'll see. 
Um, in this area, the torso, there is like a circle and it's already actually drawn in there, like a torso right in there, circle. Circle shape should fit like right in there. And then in the back, in the back area, a little bit smaller, right about there. Right there. And then now the angles. So there's like an angle from here. So there, actually. This is the back leg. That's actually the bottom of the back leg. I kind of seeing that from what I remember. And then this back leg coming off of there. And then down. Actually, does taper a little bit. Ooh. And then it goes off to uh, the hoof. There it is. All right. Um, there's a little bit of a flattening of the circle right in here at that angle, right there, a little bit of a flattening of that circle, and then it goes round. A little bit of that backside is flattened, and then over here it comes up and over, comes down, right in between the two, right there, a little thing right there. I think that's looking good. Um, this little crease inside, I'm going to bring it in a little bit and then bring it out and curve it onto that leg. Oh, there we go. I should zoom out. Should I zoom out? Oh, that's a good size for now. I looked at my screen and I'm like, oh, it's not drawing it. Completely. You know, I, I, I am slightly, I should probably bring out a coffee. It's been, these Thursdays are long days. But it's all good. It's all good. Here we go. Yeah, they do have two circles in here, two sketch circles. There's one here and then another one over here. I don't know if they're muscles or what the artist was observing, but they're two, two light sketches, two light circles in there. And then all this is shaded in there. There's also a circle in here, which I, I kind of drew afterwards. And it does push upon the, uh, the structure, that shape, which I didn't, I didn't really explain a lot. And the, the body in here, this torso, actually, uh, yeah, this torso, there is this bean shape in this torso. So I want to try to capture that bean shape in here as well that bean shape and then the i guess pelvis area this would be kind of like in the abdomen and coming down like a bean shape so i'm going to go ahead and uh yeah i'm going to bring the legs down a little bit more just to get proportion wise because i'm already at the at this at about the center center spot because I know, I know, I know in my mind, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the proportions a little bit. I am. So this, I know I'm gonna have to bring the legs a little further down from, from our uh, original. Just to check, just to keep the proportions right. And that's okay. But you need to be aware of those adjustments and those, those things. So I'm looking at the height and the width. I'm looking at the shape. The, this, this is where that ratio of practice comes in, noticing the height and the width of these shapes, right? And getting that feel of that form or the feel of the shape before you get the feel of the form. Feel of the shape. Yeah, here we go. There's that circle in there. Torso. I should clean it up a little bit. All right, uh, there's another circle here. We'll put another little circle there, circle there, and then another circle there. These are definitely muscles. These do show, not like the ones back here, which probably be a little bit bigger. These do show, these are um, pushing out right at the front. So there's that circle there that kind of pushes out. And then 
this cone shape or this triangular shape coming out at that angle. Slight change of angle down here. Look for a circle there. You know, like it's, let me see. I'm gonna, no, that's good. It's, I'm going, doing some horizontal lines, some horizontal guidelines. Need to drop off. All right, Jan, thanks for joining us. This is your first class and I had a good, a lot of fun. Good, good to hear. Good night, everyone. Yeah, that's my favorite. Good night. When we have new people and then we have people been here for a while, sticking it out. Yeah, I'm thinking of actually even changing it to two nights, having it the beginning, if this grows, kind of, last week we had a lot, quite a few people and they dropped off a little bit on a spring break or who knows. Yelena was out, that's why. <laughs> oh, Yelena's not coming, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, do, changing it to two nights, have an advanced night. All right, but we'll see. Still, still in the thought. All right. Okay, so this leg comes here, it tapers, comes down. Uh, yeah, because I feel like my batteries are running on low a little bit right now. Well, let's charge them up. All right, here we go. Let's 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 finish strong, they say. Okay, so from here, the, this back front leg, I'm sure it has, and it's, I don't know if it's called the hind leg. Is that right? My brain's shutting off. The thickness, notice the thickness. It's a little bit not as wide as the front one, slightly, but it's just very slight. Smaller, not as wide. So there's the taper down to that point, then comes back that angle. There's a circle here. And then the hoof, the hoof. And then the back hoof is almost straight up and down. There it is. All right, I'm trying to center my drawing. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. All right, that's looking good. I think that's looking good. I think proportion-wise, angle-wise, I'm happy with it. Sometimes it's like, a, if, if you're not, it's like, oh my gosh, and you just gotta keep plugging. You gotta, okay, all right. We're gonna take this airplane all the way down. We're gonna sink, what is it, the captain that sinks with his, his ship? You just take it all the way down, okay, even though you know it's it's not going in the right direction. And that's, it's, it's tough. It's tough when you know, you know it's not going in the right direction. It's like, ugh, you just got to stick it out. And then, all right, the next one. It's always about the next one. You think this, and then you show your drawing and they're like, oh, it looks good. Yeah, you, you, you know, like it's what's, I don't know. You don't feel, feel it. And, and that's okay. Cause when you do, you're like, oh, okay, this is it. I'm hitting, hitting the target, I'm hitting the target. All right, so this foot does touch the floor, just like the bet that Stanford and Edward, Edward Muybridge placed a bet. The bet went, um, when a horse gallops, does it ever, does any of the feet ever leave the ground? And there was a lot of people believed that the, the feet on the horse never left the ground. So they always touched the ground, just like there. And this back leg, this back leg that's going forward is going to touch the ground as well. And they always, uh, the, the, some people believe that the, the legs always touch the ground. They never left the ground. It's because oh, as we walk, we always, but uh, Edward Moybridge set up cameras with uh, strings and the strings went off as the horse walked by and they put all the pictures together and uh, we had our first movie, first movie. And that was here in California. And Thomas Edison had his 
two cents as well as far as film. All right, so we got this taper in the back leg here. We're going to like a circle right at that center, that center line here. That's a good one. To kind of, and it does kind of, there's a slight curve. So I'm gonna put that slight, as it curves around, it goes in and then curves out. And then it goes forward. It goes forward. And then uh, another circle right in there. And this one's a little bit lower, actually. Yeah. Not that much lower. It should be on this line here. But it's definitely lower than that one that's it's right next to. All right. Thanks for a great evening. Need to go to bed now. All right, Matthew, good night. Thanks for joining us. People dropping off. Yes, yeah, another reason why. And I'd like to actually have like, okay, we're going to be drawing this tonight, maybe even a picture of it, or if you um, submit something. And then uh, go back into the steps to the focus um, as the website goes up too. As the website gets better, I can talk about what we're focusing on, what, where you need to focus. All right, I'm already going doing the shading. I'm already doing the shading. I can tell it's going late because I'm like doing stuff without explaining it. Yeah. yeah. And shading, shading these little areas here. Oh, can't wait to see people's uh, hole in the ground. As if you draw the little hole in the ground out here. <laughs> Let the horse, little hole in the ground. Yeah, this definitely, the hole in the ground was easy, uh, a little simpler than, than the, in the landscape we did. All right, we're gonna do the head now, so I'm gonna to have to zoom out. I am doing shading without describing what I'm doing. Just trying to finish this up, I guess. Uh, add the tail, let's add the tail. The tail's in the end usually, but um, I'll try to capture the shape. There's, there's a curve as it comes out, it curves down and curves up. A really nice flowing line. Really love that flowing line and that shape that they captured. And then it gets capped off with the top line really i mean oh when you see form and you can see the way it kind of like comes together it's really nice like this these two curves kind of coming together boom yeah there it is i'm trying to capture that feel and flow although he did it really fast it was just a few sketches i kind of put a little more shape into it all right, let's do the head. I'm gonna, uh, should I move it up or zoom out? I'll just move it up, okay? Should I move up or zoom out? Yeah, we'll just move it up then, I think. And then I'll zoom out afterward. Because it's good to see it in proportion. I think I'm gonna bring this head back a little bit, this line back a little bit. Should go out this far. This kind of helps getting these two lines, seeing how far out it should go out, the head. And then uh, bringing that, you don't want to go too far. You don't want to go too close. These two triangular lines kind of help seeing that mass. And then, and then, got the space. You can actually even draw it as an oval to really get that shape in there. They draw it as a circle. Actually, this is always uh, pretty much a circle right in here because of the cheek. Okay, all right, that looks good. That maybe should go out a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it out just slightly. And that's because I'm picky for some reason here. It's not a perfect circle. Martha. I can hear her her alarm. But she's still on the line. All right, so I'm gonna clean that circle up. I usually don't. Okay. All right, mm -mm -mm. I'm losing it, losing it here, I think. I think I did it too big. All right, so this is good. I'm feeling good about this, but I'm not feeling good about this circle here. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. It's just a guide anyways. I'm just gonna erase the top. All right, so let's see if we can nail this, not make it look like a giraffe. <laughs> 
All right, so, okay. So I'm happy with this line here. Let me see, this line here, that line there. Okay, so there we go. I'm happy with that. Bring that down, that angle there. A little bit of a curve here. And then uh, bring it up there. Does that look good? That looks good. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with a circle though, right in here. Probably goes further back. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to curve this uh, this top part, curve it onto there. The ears are unclear. The ears are very unclear. But they're up here, uh, and they're almost like little these little triangle shapes. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna shade them out a little bit. Maybe. Claudio, could you please? Um, yeah, perfect, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so there's that ear there, and then the other ear. There's another one behind it. It's slightly blurry, not clear. All right, so the eye, <clears throat> the eye is in the center, really close to the center, right in here, and it's not very accurate. I would even almost do a circle like that with a little highlight in it, and then, um, and then it's got like a thing underneath it. Yeah. All right, <laughs> on my batteries. Here we go. Just left it. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in on the face. I think I, I let me zoom out and then zoom in because I am not feeling this. No, I'm not feeling it at all now. I am not. Okay, I'm looking back and forth. Yeah, I am losing it. All right. So I'm gonna. Oh, okay. So this is a good 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 uh, thing to look back and forth. I'm looking back and forth. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Yeah, I think I went a little too high with it. See, I can make these adjustments. Yeah, it is a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. There we go. That's better. And I think that would bring that eye a little bit lower as well. because I, I, I use that as a center. And you can do it really soft. You can kind of blur it all out. It doesn't have to be like exact. There you go, see, I'm just blurring it out. And just Bring out the nose a little bit down to, I'm gonna bring, actually bring everything a little further down. Yeah, just slightly. All right, yeah, some of the details are really hard to see. It's a little blurry, but there is a chin. There's like a mouth, chin. And I guess I shouldn't have changed it. I erased on my on my newsprint and it kind of uh, <clears throat> took off the paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now I have a hole up there where we're, we're changing the head. <laughs> it's all Oh, good. well, it's only paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why, that's the best one paper to draw because it's just a sketch and you're just you know it's it's just you know it's going to fade after actually if, if you have it in the sun it does fade pretty quickly or if you have it out in, at light if it's closed it actually stays a little bit longer actually i have had some drawings that i just got rid of uh, on newsprint that were like 30 years old were... <laughs> i'll be okay. gone by that time <laughs> i'm an old lady oh i'm but, 72 uh, wow no oh he says <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I said, wow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good, good. Yeah, I'm going to be 55 next month. You're just a baby. <laughs> May, May what? 22nd. Double deuce. All right. I think I'm May 16th. Oh, May 16th. Ah, sweet. Would you say 54? You'll be? Huh? How old are you going to be? 50. 55. 55. I'll be 54, May 16th. Oh, you're older. And, uh, and, uh, 
They're not as cute for as you. I'm sorry. Not as skillful as you. Oh, but I've been I've been drawing since I was. Uh, but even still, look at <laughs> I'm still having a little bit of challenges tonight. I think I think this still needs to be a little bit lower. If I, I'm honest with myself, that's it's still it's all good. And it's just practice. It's just fun. There we go. I'm gonna make it lower. There we go. Good thing I have a good eraser. Good thing I did it in pencil. Yeah, normally you do it in pen and you don't erase. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was a secret. I at know. The, at the San Diego Art Museum, they're having a great, um, a great showing of uh, uh, Matisse and, oh. and um, pointillism and, uh, and you know, all right. that kind of stuff. Monet, um, Lautrec, and yeah. I, I saw. Uh, it, I bought a black black wing matte pencil with a, oh. with a rubber tip. Um, it is so good and it's what art you know you like drawers would use i don't know if you've ever heard of it black wing no and and then i went to get another one they didn't have any more singles so i bought a whole box of them <laughs> wow and that's that's what i'm drawing with tonight and i really like it oh that's awesome that's awesome when you find your like tool that's great and that's what we, we mentioned somebody you know you, you don't want to buy the best tool at first you want to get you know used to whatever you have and then, you know, make that investment. You don't want to drive, you know, the Ferrari before you, you get used to, you know, you got to drive the, the other stuff first and get used to drawing. And then like, okay, you know, well, it depends, you know. It, it, and there's so many different materials out there and they're always changing. Even the quality will change over time uh, on, on some of them, like the Prisma color pencils. I, I was re did some research on it because uh, from this class, I mentioned that they were barrel but they changed names because they changed ownerships. Um, it was interesting to see the history of that. And the, yeah, this, the, the quality. And then other pencils have come along. Look, the quality of the prismas. Well, I have a set. I, I love them. Is there yeah. something else that's, that's better than that that you found? There's, there's other ones that, I've, that are out now that are just as good. But um, yeah, I hear that the, the quality isn't as, as great as it used to be, but it's still good. It's still good quality. I mean, I, I really... I, I still like my barrels that I've gotten um, or Prisma colors. Um, and then I was reading um, uh, actually just recently too on um, illustration <clears throat> uh, uh, poster because that's what I used to do <clears throat> for a little bit. Uh, and Drew Streisand, he did the posters back in the 80s. He did um, Back to the Future. He did um, Star Wars. He did, um, he did all the... Uh, uh, he, he has that style and he would do that uh, with Prismacolors actually. He used Prismacolors. He used paint, airbrush, and, and Prismacolors on top of uh, the illustration board. Drew, Drew Streisand. He did the, um, I, let's say, J Indiana Jones. That's the mm. Indiana Jones posters. So he has that style. So I have an look, airbrush I used to do for my cake decorating. Ah. Fun. Yes. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, I put a little hole <laughs> here. We could have shaded it in a little bit more, but uh, I think that. I'm on I think it? this horse is missing a mane. Oh. oh, I put a mane on mine. Oh, good. Yep, it's running, so it's it's flying behind it. That's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. my... Speaking of Lemonade, there's a exhibit going on in Montebello. Oh, Montebello. So, yeah, immersion experience. Kind of like the one in LA. Yeah, 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 yeah. The immersion one. Okay, that's great. In Monica. I'm going tomorrow at ten o'clock. Ah, nice. Yeah, they've had so many. All of a sudden, it was, first it was the Van Gogh one, and that made it so big. So it had a whole bunch of them. There's another one right now here in LA. I don't know where it's at. Uh, the Frida Kahlo one. And um, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Here's my horse with the mane. Let's take a look. Let's, all uh, right. We're going to call it a night. Here, Judy. See who wants to share. Uh, let me see. I don't see. Oh, there you are. All right, Judy. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, there you go. All right. All right. Uh, a little more to the right. Yeah, there you go. His head looks weird. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, I think we, we went a little fur, further out on it, too. You got the giraffe going. <laughs> yeah, it is a little long necked. And yeah, it's okay. 
It looks kind of out of proportion when I look at it this way. It is a little bit. I know when you look at your stuff in a mirror, that that does too. And you look at a fresh, fresh, fresh view. And then I, sh I showed my husband this one and he said, I don't know what he said. It looks like a bomb. The, my whole, oops, wait, that's last week. The, um, oh, one. the one we just did? Yeah. He yeah. said it looked like an explosion of something. He, he didn't see it as a whole. <laughs> well, it is a whole. It is. Yeah. It, well, because of all the. But yeah, no, it's, I think it looks like a good hole. Yeah, that's a good hole. You know what it is? It's the, it's the jagged edges. And I mean, it, it is, uh, you know, I don't know. It, yeah, the the, jagged these edges. things here that make it more like a hole? It, like an explosion. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what's cool too about yours is you, you make it more round. So it looks like if you're looking almost uh, into it. Uh, the ones the, the angle the one that I did is more of an angle so it looks like you're, you're looking more uh, at an angle yours yeah. looks more yeah because you made it rounder it looks more like you're almost looking down it I don't know if you get that impression or feel well yeah I, I, I kind of I walked in I was not in the room when you drew it and I went oh I gotta quick catch up because this is the hole so I drew it without your instruction oh, it's all so good that was, all that good. was my interpretation no, no, it's all good. The, the point was, oh, actually, I didn't really make that point, uh, is if you're looking at a circle, well, I did with the quarter, if you're looking at it down as a circle, then it's a circle. If you, as, as it turns, uh, it turns into more of an oval so to, to the point where it turns into a straight line. And that's that same circle you see in tilted in space. Yeah. Great job. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fun night. Good. I'm glad. Glad to see you as a regular. Yeah. Thanks for coming. All right, let's see. Uh, we got Enoch. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh, there you go. Where are you? All righty. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Thank you for sharing. And it was your suggestion when we did horses. All right. Hey, actually, you can make a living uh, just drawing horses. <laughs> What's that? You can make a living just drunk horses for the yes, race it's club. Possible. Yeah. 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 One of the quotes I've been saying at school <laughs> with the students, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, Priyanka, let's go, Priyanka. Let's see what you got. This one's hard. I might my horse is out of proportion. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, what you got? This looks like a bony. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's good. I think yours. <laughs> that's cool. I think oh, the yeah. face is bigger. I like the mane. <laughs> and the hole. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at the hole. There it is. Wow. More, there you go. More to the left. There you go. You guys, ah, there you go. You guys do with the hole. Very nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And see, that was uh, somebody suggested that hole. All right, uh, Ine, let's go, Ine. Yes, I really struggled with the horse. Oh, yeah, I think we all did. It's, it's getting late. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can see the proportions. We, we, we got that giraffe going. <laughs> it's my fault. It is so hard. Yeah. And then yeah, this okay. was. It's so okay. My my hole is okay. Yeah, it's Just, good. <laughs> what don't you like about it? I don't know. I just don't think it's um. I think it's great. Con convincing. I don't think it's that realistic. Oh, oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, you do? Thank yeah. You. It just doesn't have the depth. Look at it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fresh eye, fresh eye makes it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank okay, you, right. awesome, and thank you for the feedback, uh, for helping out. All right, okay, anybody else? I think, uh, we're getting ready to call it a night here at 9 30. Good time. We'll be going more longer, or actually, or call it a second night. Or if you have any questions, uh, throw some questions in there. Um, yeah, I'm upside down, I put on a hat. <laughs> Uh, all right, thanks for a fun class. Derwent ink tents. Ink tents are supposed to be great. Oh, let me see. That's supposed to, I think that's a, some material somebody's talking about. Let me, uh, let's see. Let's take a look. 
If you have other questions or anything, let's see. No, I, re I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm always <laughs> learning so much. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad. Okay, thank you, everybody. Have a good night. All right, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Call in tonight. Oops. Well, that's the other um <laughs> and pencils you were talking about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I saw that. I I didn't get to I'll, I'll take a look at them right now.